This is Cheryl bringing you your Dorn Safety Minute. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. With the ever-changing world we live in, companies are making it a priority these days to promote the health and well-being of all of their employees. With over 44.7 million working Americans, according to the CDC, HR departments are positioned to encourage healthy mental and physical activities across their organizations. Other things that you can do? Show your support by wearing green during the month of May. Two, try to be open to mental health. Knowledge is key. Providing or seeking information on websites, podcasts, or just anything else that might be helpful to you or your employee. And maybe sometimes all you need to do is just listen to help be there for your friends or family. Three, try to do something creative. Whether it's at home or in the office, take a few minutes to do something creative like an adult coloring book. Getting creative helps to explore feelings, reconcile conflicts, foster self-awareness, and basically reduce overall anxiety. Four, try to find the humor a little bit in everyday life. Laughter is contagious and can, a good way to spread a little bit of joy around your office. The Mayo Clinic cites that many short-term and long-term benefits of laughing include soothing tension to improve the immune system. So go strategically place that whoopee cushion somewhere in your office. Five, stay physically active. Yoga, walks, kickboxing, swimming, anything that gets your body moving. And even better if you can do it outdoors. So leave your phone and your technology, it does not have to be with you 24 hours a day, and get some fresh air and vitamin D. Six, drink water and then drink more water. All we ever hear is how great it is to hydrate, which actually increases and helps your cellular flow to help you keep you moving uh, throughout the entire day. Seven, try to stick to a routine. Set an alarm clock on your iPhone, your watch, what have you, and just gives your brain and body and eyes a little break throughout the day. Uh, especially if you're having a hard day, it gives you something to look forward to, that cup of coffee, a long walk, a meditation. It just helps boost yourself to navigate through those anxious moments. If you are truly struggling, please contact your doctor or healthcare provider because at the end of the day, we are all in this crazy world together. So let's do the best that we can to help ourselves and each other. Get outside.